What is going on? We are back everybody. Now in today's video, we are gonna be taking a little trip over to Walmart. We're gonna go get a cast net. Now you guys, if you guys know me, I don't usually do all that kind of stuff, but we are doing it today. We are gonna go and get a cast net. We're gonna go and try to catch some baby tilapia. We're gonna come back and freeze those tilapia, and then we're gonna end up feeding them to the black dragon. Now you guys, I think we have figured out a name for that black dragon. Everybody has suggested Toothless in the comments, so we are gonna be naming him or her Toothless. So anyways, you guys, stick along, watch this video thoroughly. We are gonna go to Walmart, whatever, whatever, whatever. <laughs> All right, you guys, so we have finally touched down at Walmart. We gotta go over there to the sporting goods section. I mean, the last time I checked, I'm pretty sure Walmart sold cast nets, so let's see what we can find. We are certainly in business, boys. I think this will get the job done. Got a nice red horn series cast net, boys. Let's get it. All right, you guys, so we have finally arrived at the spot. I'm sure a lot of you guys are actually gonna be very familiar with this spot if you guys are subscribed to Paul Cafaro. So you guys follow me over here. This right here is literally the mother load for tilapia. Like I said, if you guys have seen any of Paul's videos over here, really is the mother load of tilapia. And ta-da, bring you guys to the spot. We are going to be catching little fish for our black dragon. Now I'm sure this fountain is going to be very loud behind me, but let's get right into this. I don't know if this is the best cast net in the world. Bought it for 20 beans, 20 buckaroos. All right, guys, so we finally got the cast net unraveled here. Now, personally, we don't know what we can catch here. So let's, let's get our first throw into here. Now you guys, I know I'm a reptile guy, but I promise you I'm gonna be laying pancakes down here. <laughs> Pancake right there. Got it stink. Oh, I feel something. Oh! Whoa! Whoa. Look at that, dude. <laughs> this is a breeder tilapia right here. Look at the colors on this thing. Come in close, Max. Look at that tail. Thing is pretty dude right all right you guys so i'm coming over here to this little pocket right where it leads into the bigger lake so we're gonna take our cast what is it number three now yeah number three so cast number three now that's a pancake if i've yeah, ever seen pancake one. season oh my goodness oh my goodness we've got another breeder tilapia three breeder three. tilapias oh are these oh, big? little babies, dude, dude! Perfect, you guys, perfect. You guys see, like this one doesn't have the, the pretty tail like the last one we caught. So we're gonna grab this sucker. Don't spine me. But dude, take a look at that. That looks like the biggest one. This is definitely biggest one of the day. Look at that thing. And we got another little bram or like a bluegill right here. Cool little fish. So we're gonna just eat him. <laughs> We're gonna save these two. I'm gonna fill up the bucket, you guys. We got two nice little tilapia. Do not get out of here. So that's one, and this is number two. No. <laughs> we almost lost the what one, a save. You guys. That should do. It's enough water in there. We are actually gonna go home and freeze these tilapia. Now the only reason I'm doing that is I could feed them to him live, but I want to rule out all parasites, all diseases that these fish could possibly be holding, of course, because they're wild. So we want to rule that, definitely eliminate all those possibilities. And when we get home, we're just going to throw those in the freezer, and then in maybe two days, I'll come back, get grab the camera, and feed Toothless these tilapia. I'm sure he is definitely going to be munching on these fish. I've fed him fish in the past, but just tilapia fillets. So let's see how many more we can get. Are right, you guys, so we actually see some stuff on top of the water over there. You see that? It's probably just some little guppies, but we're gonna try to send a cast out there. Yeah, there's a lot around here. Yeah, you see all that movement? Oh, yeah. I mean, dude, that has to be right? Whatever's there, you got it. Oh, dude, I feel something. Dude, look at the red. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Bro, look at the red. 
dude. We gotta get this one out so we can actually show the camera. You guys, take a look at the scales on this fish. Look at the red dorsal fin. It's like bright red. That is probably one of the prettiest sawbills I've ever seen. Look at the, dude, look at how bright red that tail is. It's got like blue spots in there. It's got some cool little spots down here. This is a very beautiful tilapia. I'm not, oh my God. Just peed all over me. <laughs> You're doing it wrong. Oh, that was, that was wow. Right on the bed. Yeah, you can already see them. Oh, wow. oh, there's another big one in there. Oh, we got some nice meat, dude. That is what we needed, bro. Look at this one right here, perfect size. Dude, that is perfect. All right, guys, so we actually just hit the mother load. My camera died right as I was reeling that one up. My buddy Max ran to the car, grabbed another extra battery for me. So we're gonna put these things right into the bucket really quick, but come and check this out. Like, look at the size of this. I mean, dude, this right here is gonna get gulped up by my monitor. Look at him. And he's got some cool little colors too, like that little yellow spot right there. A lot of the yellow lines. We're gonna send these bigger ones off. See ya, see ya. This one right here could probably do. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's grab the bucket. Perfect tilapia. And these are, look at those. So we got six nice, perfect little tilapia. We're gonna put them right into the bucket. Here you go, fellas. You see the variation? Like this one doesn't have all those crazy red stripes and look how slimy and disgusting this fish is right here, look. Gross. I mean, these things are all bottom feeders. They eat all that muck and that, that dirty stuff all on the bottom. Look at that, now that right there, that'll ruin your day, you guys. See that spike right there? Look how sharp that thing is. Yeah, wow. You guys, really quick, before we head out of here, we just took a little cast as a joke, and look at the size of this. I believe it's a shad. It looks like a, sh a huge shiner, but I mean, you guys, that thing is like gnarly looking. Look, look at how slimy thing. and disgusting that fish is. Look at the size of that thing. With yellow eyes, too. Yeah, dude, this thing almost looks like a saltwater fish. So we're gonna come over here, give this guy a nice little release, and there's a tilapia stabbing me. So that guy's out of there. That's some nice big tilapia. You guys, we caught a new species right here. Now, I don't know if this is just like a big old mosquito fish or some kind of molly. Like, I don't know, but that thing is pretty yeah, cool looking. See, like, through its belly. Look, oh, what is that? <laughs> that is a cool little fish. Yeah. If I had an aquarium, I would definitely put that in there. I know, you guys, I'm, I'm thinking about it. I, I'm thinking about it. But I've got so many animals, so I don't really know if I need an aquarium just yet. Wait until maybe I get some bigger land and we can do a cool pond outside. That is the dream, that is the goal. What can I say though, that's what, third species of the day? Uh, fourth. Fourth, yeah. That's the fourth species we've caught here. Just let him go, live another day. Now if you guys do any fishing on your own, you would know that these little tiny tilapia, all these fish that we're catching are actually prime time for peacock bass bait. Sorry, I know the wind is probably crazy right now with the audio, but anyways, if you guys are interested in seeing me going out, coming here, catching these little bait fish, and then going to actually catch some big old peacock bass, you let me know. I don't do a lot of fishing myself, but if that is something you guys would like to see on the channel, leave a comment down below and let me know if you guys would like to see that. That wind right now is kicking, boys. Well, you know what they say. I don't know what they say. <laughs> Thank you. You guys, it doesn't end. I feel oh. like you're catching the same ones, Wait. maybe. Wait, no. Dude. You saw that thing in his eyes? He had little baby fish with him. Really? Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, lift it up, lift it up. I think they're... That's yeah. what was on him. Dude. They're little baby tilapia. They still have their eggs. Dude. Look at this, you guys. Look at these little fry. I would have let this focus. 
Look at those little fry. They still have their yolk attached to them. Wow. Look at all those things. You guys, th this is truly fascinating. Look at how this mom tilapia keeps all of her babies. Look at all those babies in there. Do you see that on the camera? No, it's black in there. All right, everybody, so we just finished up over here. We finished it off with a bang. I don't know if you guys saw that, but that female tilapia, now correct me down below if I'm wrong. I don't know if they do the same thing that cichlids do, but they keep the fry in their mouth. Unless those two tilapia were having a field day on baby fish, I don't know what else it could have been. My guess is that the mothers hold the fry in their mouth. When you guys hear me referring to them as fry, that just means that is a fish baby. So any baby fish is considered a fry. But anyways, you guys, we've got a nice little load of tilapia. We're gonna get home. We're gonna throw them into the freezer. Big old fish right there. See that thing? Oh yeah. Oh, it's a cormorant. <laughs> uh, I was like, whoa. Well, he's fishing. Anyways, we're gonna get home. We're gonna throw those into the freezer and I'm gonna pick the camera back up tomorrow and show you guys us feeding Toothless, the black dragon, all these little baby tilapia. My guess is that he is going to absolutely love them. I'll see everybody when we are at the house. Peace out, everybody. It has officially been two days since we have caught in those little baby tilapia. They have been sitting in the freezer, frozen, hard as a rock. Anyways, before we get right into feeding Toothless, the black dragon, I just want to give you guys a little update on Ralph, the chameleon. He's been doing very good. Finally, finally got that boy to really start eating. Hey, Ralph. Let me get him out for you guys. Hey, Ralph. Oh, whoa, whoa. So feisty. Feisty boy today. Anyways, there he is, you guys. Look at all those blues that have shown up. It's okay, buddy. Here. Here, go back on the tree. So you guys can see Ralph is absolutely thriving over here. Hey, buddy. He, he, I think I caught him by surprise, so kind of had a little freak out session. So I do have some pretty unfortunate news here. Barnaby the rabbit, he has gotten another infection down there. So he should be getting into the vet this week you know hopefully he's had a rough little time after that surgery he had a he got neutered so first time he had it it was an infection that's why he had to get neutered after he got the surgery he got infected again and we fixed that so now you guys he is actually infected for a third time i don't know what's going on down there maybe they left a little bit of the infection down there at the surgery site but let's just keep our fingers crossed that you know he pulls through and he, he makes it out strong. He's still eating, drinking, all of that stuff. So he is still very healthy, still doing good. I just don't know when they're gonna be able to get me in, you guys. But anyways, here we are. We have gotten our frozen fish. Let's go and defrost some of those and then get toothless out. So you guys, we have our tilapia defrosting right now in some warm water. I'm gonna go and grab toothless. We're gonna sit in the bathroom and feed her. Since the last time you all have seen him or her, Check out how big he or she has gotten. Hi. Say hi. Say hi. Going through a shed right now, so looking a little funky. Anyways, do you guys think he or she is going to enjoy these little tilapia? Leave a comment down below if you guys think so. Check out that powerful tail. You guys really have to bear with my lighting. Check out how big, hey, hey, if you guys don't remember, she hates that camera, I'll tell you that. I wonder if we're going to be able to get her to eat. It's okay. It's just a camera. It's just a camera. We get our first little tilapia. Hey, look, what is that? What is that? Hey. What is that? What is that? 
Is that yummies? Is that yummies? Oh. Oh, what are we gonna do here? You want that? You want that fishy? Come on, you gotta jump for it. Come on. You got it. You got it. Oh, oh. Good, yes. You guys, I think that is a happy monitor. Come on. Ooh. Oh my. Right down the hatch? That easy? Oh my goodness. Hi. That was so good. Oh my goodness, you guys. Oh, I'm not gonna bug you no more. Going in with our second fish. Let's see if she's gonna crush another one. Oh my goodness. She wants that. She wants that. What is that? 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 Right here. Look, right here. Oh yeah, I know you want that fishy. Give me that fish. Playing tug of war with my dragon. Give me that fish. Oh my goodness, you guys, look at that crunch. Oh my. Right down the hatch, everybody. I don't know about you guys, but I certainly think Toothless was loving these fish. We got one more left to feed her before I'm also gonna give her some quail in a little bit. We've got one more tilapia to feed a Toothless, and I think that Toothless is really, really enjoying these fish. So I think we scored everybody. We got the last little tilapia. No, I'm just kidding. You want one more? You want one more? Hey! Yeah, you want it, but you're whipping me with your tail and it's like really not cool. All right. Here. Here. Here you go, Toothless. Toothless. Toothless, here. Look. Oh, that was a quick one. How is that fish? How is that fish? Oh my goodness. You guys hear that crunch? Drop that one? Did you drop that one? What are you doing playing with your food? Always playing with your food. Here, here. Here you go. Here. No? Well, I need you to say bye to everybody. Say bye, YouTube. See, I'm going back home. Look at that chunky belly right there. If you guys are wondering what this white is, Toothless is usually lodging himself right under his rock. And that's kind of just like the little dust from the rock. Say hi. I'm getting big, everybody. Sooner or later, this thing is going to be like six feet. So I think catching those tilapia was an absolute score. I think that Toothless, I think that Toothless really enjoyed eating that, that fish. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a comment down below if you guys think maybe doing like a little adventure things like that, you know, going to get a cast net, going to catch food for my lizard. Let me know if you guys like that down below, please. So please leave a comment, subscribe, like this video, and don't forget to smash those notification buttons. Anyways, Lonnie's Lizards is out of here. That'll wrap it up. Peace.